damn, 158 subs, and I still haven't made this video yet. Oh well, I guess today's the day. What's going on y'all, it's your boy Rover Queen. Feels great to be back, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about a pretty special topic, and it's how I got into comic books. And if you haven't already, please hit that like button, please hit that subscribe button, and turn on your notifications so you're always in the loop whenever I drop new videos. So growing up, superhero shows were the only shows I was allowed to watch. I mean, I couldn't watch MTV, I couldn't watch BET because my mom was afraid of girls shaking their ass and titties all over the place, bumping and grinding on the fellas. So the only shows I could watch was Spider-Man, X-Men, Power Rangers, Fantastic Four. So if it was anything superhero, I was watching it. So naturally, I grew attached to these characters and these stories, and over time, Superhero stuff was a lot more cooler to me than what I was potentially missing out on with the stuff I wasn't allowed to watch. Being attached to superheroes as a kid and living where I lived was a match made in heaven because we lived 10 minutes away from the closest comic shop, which is where I was introduced to comic books for the first time. And let me tell you guys, the first time I walked in, my soul left my body. I was a kid in a candy store at that comic shop. Batman had a comic, Spider-Man had a comic, the Power Rangers had a comic, Fantastic Four. Every single goddamn superhero that I watched on TV had a comic book and my mind was blown. Ever since then, the weekends are what I looked forward to. Why? Because that's when me and my mom and my sister would go into town and they'd leave me in the comic shop alone. And that's when I would absorb all of these comic books and I didn't retain anything. But just being there and immersing myself in this huge world of comic books, that was a huge high for me. The only downside was that I couldn't take any of these comic books home because I was a kid and I was broke. Well, fast forward to 2009 and I have some money as a high schooler, finally. And the first comic book that I actually owned and collected in its entirety was Marvel's Utopia. Ooh, and I fell in love. Listen, I didn't know what was happening with the X-Men. I didn't know what was happening with the Dark Avengers. I didn't even know there was a Dark Avengers. And quite frankly, I had no idea what was happening in Marvel Comics as a whole. But this comic did a great job of catching me up and telling an amazing story as both of those sides clashed. And it was then, that's when I decided, I wanna follow comic books for the long haul. So I owe a lot of thanks to Matt Fraction for getting me into comic books, for real, thank you. So anyways, I went off to college in the middle of nowhere, literally nowhere. And whatever plans I had to collect comic books went out the window for at least four to five years. And then I came back with a college degree and a thousand dollars richer thanks to graduation money. And sadly, that's the richest I've ever been since. And what do I blow most of the money on? Comics. And it's one of the best damn decisions I made in my life four years ago. During these last four years, I've grown to appreciate and love so many different characters thanks to the wild yet inspiring storytelling of comic books. Also, life can suck sometimes, but having new comic books to look forward to and a backlog of comic books that I still need to read definitely helps soften the blow. Lastly, I've met a bunch of cool people, I've done a lot of cool shit, and I can honestly say that comics have helped me find some type of direction in life. To wrap this video up, I love comics. I spend a bunch of time and money on comics and I have no regrets. And I made this channel to show my love for comics and most importantly, spread the comic book agenda. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on your notifications. Thank you for watching and don't forget, I stream every single Friday night from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern time. Much love, much peace. Go read some comic books. Roll the queen out.